Hello, beautiful people. It is great night, and uh, boy, we have an adventure set up. We got, we got, we got, we got miscreants live in studio. It's Justin Robert Young uh, uh, over the Riverside. How you doing, Justin? And through the woods. Over the Riverside and through the woods. Yeah. yeah. To grandmother's yeah. house we go. Uh, that's indeed, what we're, indeed. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah, it's a hell of a, it's a hell of a night, man. We're uh, Hopefully, you know, the whispers in the woods say that uh, uh, it might be cooling down here uh, in old central Texas. You know what? They keep and, shifting uh, the goalposts on that. Like, I was all excited. Knew. It was supposed to be tomorrow morning. It was supposed to get down to the high 60s or something. I know. And now they're saying, nope. You can't have it right now. You you were bad today, and uh, <laughs> there needs to be a sacrifice. That's oh. what I'm being told via push alerts. <laughs> yes. Uh, 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 you know what? They even sent a couple of nature cops in the form of, I guess, wood nymphs. Uh, live in studio, we have Calliope and Josephine. Hi. Hey. All right. Uh, <laughs> all right, Brushwood girls. Uh, uh, question... First question, why? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, okay. Hey, okay, accusations okay. Okay. over here. <laughs> we yeah. did nothing okay. of the sort. Well. All right, Callie's got her hand up. Go ahead, Callie. The question, uh, the question why? again, why? Why, why what? Why? They asked just, why. Just why? Let the uh, record show yeah. that they avoided the question. Uh, Your Honor, <laughs> you may proceed. Why, um, why mm -hmm. am I here? Uh, sure, um, that's a good answer. Why, good answer. Why, why are you here? here? That's a good answer. Uh, uh, that's uh, a good way to Josie? answer that. Why am I here? Is because I am. I am Uber. No, your answer is why I am here. Answer uh, yeah, a question yeah. with another question. Yeah, it's clever. Yeah, no, yeah. That's why my question. Keep them guessing. Keep, Keep them guessing, guessing, Callie. That's what. That's what you like to see. Turn you it like right to see back it. on them. They'll never suspect it. Exactly. exactly. Josie, you were playing uh, rock music this afternoon, huh? Yes, almost a girl band performed for Ham Day at Central Market. So, hey, what the heck, heck is Ham Day? Day? What the heck? Ham Day is when you support half the artists and it's freaking awesome. And I don't ham? know anything specific about is that. It but a we day played where for you it. eat ham. Um, yeah, and you eat a bunch of ham. Ham, ham is like an acronym, it's like a huge analysis uh, analysts. Murder. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's what it stands I love for. Murder. How did you I figure love that murder. out? I love murder. <laughs> okay. Well. All right. I love this is, and 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 low CPS did arrive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah. So the this is the, the Health Alliance for Austin musicians. They do uh, a day where they have a lot of live music throughout the city, and uh, uh, you drew the uh, uh, in a very Austin. Uh, uh, designation. This might not sound impressive. It is impressive for people who who, who uh, uh, live here. Y you played my local supermarket, but that's like a really <laughs> yeah, good venue because time. it's Austin. Be yeah. Because it's Austin, it's got a great little venue on it. It, and it is. So mm -hmm. It's amazing. It's it's a legit venue, and uh, yeah, and, and they were great. Uh, uh, yeah, how, how did it go, Josie? It was good. We played. Two more songs that we haven't played before, which were our own originals. So, oh. in all, we played three originals, which is very exciting. And all three of those are going to be on Spotify very soon, probably within the next like two yeah. weeks. I estimate. Josie, do any of them have bad words? Um, no. Well, yes, but that's fine. <laughs> um, wait, wait, hold on. What bad word? Don't whoa, don't whoa, say whoa, it in whoa, front of your sister. Whoa, whoa, but whoa. but just what? Just uh, hint around. What you know the what? Bad just say is. say some words that it rhymes with. Yeah, um, stitch. I can say duck. Uh, something. Spit. Of <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 ch <laughs> Cran. Bunt. Man. <laughs> Dan. The man. What? Van. Okay. And damn. I. Damn. It's damn. Oh. That's not what? all right. Those that's fine. Don't rhyme? I don't Blasphemy. That doesn't really rhyme well. Well, no, you can just say damn, as long as you don't yeah, put the G in front of it, it's not blasphemy. Well, it's it's goddamn. It's oh, <laughs> so you did. Okay, so it is blasphemy. Yeah. We spent, yeah. We spent all this time tiptoeing around it. Gotcha. <laughs> Actually, right. it's like, fucking hell, goddammit. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, oh. I love you, Leah. I owe me $3. Well, 
dollars. <laughs> okay, yeah. uh, you know what? It was worth it. We'll bring it out of the budget. <laughs> uh, Callie, mm. you're you're the curse word police now. Yes, <laughs> I've always been the curse word police. <laughs> Uh, uh, what, so, uh, do you give leniency to people, or are you really strict? Um, what does leniency mean? <laughs> leniency <laughs> means you're nice. Um, no, I'm the meanest person ever. The meanest, uh, uh, uh curse word police. So, yeah. it, 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 what, what is the worst curse word that you heard somebody say that you had to come down on them? Well, I can't say You it. can say the beginning of Just say word. what it well, rhymes just, with. Yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to. No, no, no! You know, you don't, you don't, you don't have to say the word. Just, just describe the situation. Like, like, where, where did you find yourself? Were you at home? Were you at school? Like, what is, what, what was the situation? Yeah, uh, describe who said it. There was, there was a bus, a bus incident oh, today. Oh yes, yeah. Um, so on my, so on my. Bus, oh, uh, uh, get, uh, close to that mic. You got to eat that mic. Huh? Get close to it. You have to eat yeah, the mic. Yeah, mic, mic <laughs> etiquette, Kelly. Okay, keep going, Kelly. Okay, so I was at the bus and I was sitting. And I was like across from this these two girls, and they were like they were kind of they were jerks. They were they were jerks. Um, and <laughs> and uh, um, you want to give their names and addresses out, or um, are I they jerks because they cursed? Yeah, Rhyme? I know. Okay, bars. <laughs> okay, I don't know what the um what their names were or anything about them. But I do know they were jerks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, so you don't know Good. anything about them, but you know that they were jerks. Um, they're probably yeah. in like eighth grade, and then they kept saying um like the worst curse word, and they said it like the ten F word. Times. Yeah. So they were trying to act like too. too they're, they're acting too too big for their britches, and they were yeah. like trying to trying to be cool cool girls. Maybe 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 kinda. Are they jerks? Because. Yeah, they just, curse. No, or not they, just not just because they curse. Or they're like, we beat up this four year old in Stella's <laughs> yeah. box like no, crazy. Okay, because he's an also we cheat on our taxes. <laughs> Is that what he said? <laughs> no, he, I just said that they were girls. Um, and they're jerks. We know yeah. two things about them. Three the things. Don't, they're the jerks. Thing is we they're don't girls. Know anything about them, they but we know that the they're jerks. <laughs> yeah. Um. Um. They were jerks. Yeah. So did you call him out on it? Did you say, hey, look, you I'm the curse word up. police, and now you owe <laughs> no. me a dollar? No, I think they're, <laughs> they're, they're only two years older than me, so I can't. I can't say anything. It, so where does your power begin? How <laughs> much older do they have <laughs> to be? My power? Apparently no. when it hits high school, because I've been curse worded policed many times. <laughs> yeah. So um, so when you, because they, they were probably like 13, but like um, when it's like, um, when it's like, like high school, um, then you become then you become Fair on game. trial. What if they're younger <laughs> than you? <laughs> what if they're what if they're younger than you? Yeah, what if they're younger than you? It's like a six year old walks in and he's yeah, cause, like, cause, I by the way, the Callie, place. Then you what you pick him? <laughs> what do you do, huh? Callie, I think, look, this, I know this seems incomprehensible to you, but eventually they're they're all going to become younger than you. This is just a thing that eventually happens. <laughs> Oh, wait, what, wait, hold on, what was the question? <laughs> Could you repeat the question, please? <laughs> what happens What happens when they're younger than you? So so um, when people are older than you and they curse, you charge them a dollar, right? Yeah. Is that is that the going rate? When they're, when, they're, when they're younger than me, they owe me their house. What? <laughs> Good lord. They don't have that's, a house. That's punitive. <laughs> okay, like, wait, no, do you want to know a story? Um, yes. So one time, when I was like in like... Probably fourth grade. There was this girl who was in third grade. Third grade. And I was, um, and me and I think my friend, yeah, we were sitting down in my, and, um, a seat. And then, um, this <laughs> girl. What? <laughs> this third grade girl, she walks down the, down the, like, bus aisle and she goes, get the worst curse word out of my seat. Wow. Did you? Third grade you didn't girl. even say freaking. Is no, she didn't. She said the. Oh, she said what? the f word. Yeah. yeah. Did you? Did you move? Yeah, I was like, I was. I told <laughs> you <laughs> better believe I moved. Did you hear how mean she was? Yeah, my friend. I told my friend. Yeah, we're we're skedaddling. We gotta get out. Had of you here. had you gotten the Rosa Parks lesson yet, or <laughs> the what? Or not? The Rosa oh Parks God. lesson. The what? Because that's Parks. yeah. Cali the Rosa Parks lesson. You would you would have known not to get up.
Callie, is this the one that rides a motorcycle in our neighborhood? <laughs> no, that's Josephine. Oh, not okay. not that Josephine. <laughs> yeah, I, I different, ride less cool, more jerky Josephine. <laughs> you you really sure can pick out the jerks, Callie. Yeah. You, you, Without you, 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 knowing you, anything about <laughs> them, you can tell just who's jerks and who's not. Well, I think I think there's a common thread. It's called using the f word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do we want to? Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, Bonnie's, Bonnie's, uh, sorry, their, their agent is, is wrapping around. Well, uh, thank you guys so much for joining us. What did you have to plug? Um, in two weeks, our Spotify music, Almost a Girl Band, will be on Spotify, Spotify time. Yay! Do, do you have, do you have an account now for Almost a Girl Band? No, but we okay, do so have that's, an so that's going up. We have an Instagram, guys. Follow us, Almost a Girl Band. Um, and we have one post, but soon there will be two. One from okay, today. good. Um, good. Everybody with bated breath, wait for the second yes, Instagram they're be like, post. What the heck? I can't wait to see this post. And it will be posted. Sorry. All right. <laughs> One post by land, two post by uh, sea. Uh, exactly. Callie, uh, are you excited about the success of your Kickstarter? Um, only if I get more money. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and Callie gentlemen, and Josie Brushwood. Hey, hey, can I say something? You're asking if I was excited. Yes. Which I'm excited if I get you more get money. more money. Oh, okay, well we heard okay. that. I All think right. we got yeah. that. Yeah. Thank you to those who contributed. You really yes uh, was a lot of. Fun. I can see. I can very, see a very slight lag yeah. from the All computer. Right. All right, hold on. Oh, hold on, Callie. Uh, all right. Uh, oh, what a shame that your mic stopped working. Uh, yeah. Sorry, what a technical. <laughs> oh no! Oh, Ladies and no. gentlemen, now they're Callie storming and Josie. Off. They're storming yeah. off. Oh man, Callie's off to find another jerk or two before she gets back to the house. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard it. We're the jerk or two. Oh no! See, she found him. Told you. <laughs> uh, uh, she found the real jerks. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Say Aww. say goodbye. Adorbs. All right. Adorbs. Bye 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 bye. Oh man, uh, all these guests. Uh, I know a cavalcade of stars here to open up our Tuesday program. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, I mean, it's nice for all of us to get into our regular chairs, uh, like like everything normally is. Um, uh, uh, he said, foreshadowingly. Uh, anyway. <laughs> How how are you, Justin? <laughs> well, now I'll tell you, this is like old school. This is just me and you. Nobody else. No, no third mic. Yeah. Uh, because no, because young young you young Nate is is off this me? week. So, well, I mean, I mean, uh, and 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 how was your week, Brett? Oh, it's pretty good, actually. <laughs> oh, good lord! <laughs> oh, jeez, <laughs> Louise, Brett's here. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, hold on. Let me set up a three-way shot. Now it's great. We'll just do this. Uh, uh, Brett, man, it's good. It's good to see your face. Yeah. Well, thank you. It's good to see your side of your head. The side of as I as I as I look the other way, I gotta set up all of these, <laughs> all of these shots. Uh, so, uh, 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 I, I guess Lisa's causing trouble. Hold on. Well, you, you, okay. You, there. We okay. Go. Yeah. You. 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 We're back. Uh, okay. Set the mic closer to you. There you okay. Go. All right. This one right here. Hey. Now you're talking. Yeah, there we it. go. Yeah. Uh. So. Um. You gave me a call. What? Four days ago. Four days ago. Four days ago. I texted you. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Said I need a hundred thousand dollars in an unmarked bag. Or yes. Else everything's going unmarked tits bills. Up, Buster Brown. Yeah. Don't don't ask any questions, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, or uh, <laughs> otherwise, otherwise, I'm sending all these nudes to RFK Jr. That's right. <laughs> so 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 Brett hits me up with um uh first time I heard from him in a month. Uh, hey, can I have a favor? Uh, and I was like, uh, "That's a true friend. <laughs> that, that somebody, <laughs> yep. somebody who knows where he stands." Uh, and I'm like, "Yes, what is it?" Uh, and uh, uh, what, uh, uh, Brett explained that that uh, what is the name of the play? Just say the name of the play, not what it's about. I'm proud of you. Uh, okay, well, I'm doing my best. I'm right? proud of you too, Brett. <laughs> yeah, I think sure. you're a great person. But you. what's the name of the play? <laughs> I'm proud of you. <laughs> I <laughs> love you as well. I really <laughs> hope that you continue to be the brilliant person that I know you to be. But please, for the people, tell us the name of the play. I'm proud of you. 
Oh, You're starting you to get a little again. cloying. This is getting a little annoying. <laughs> like, how many times do I have to tell you? Anyway, all right. I'm proud of you. Where does it? Uh, where does it play? When does it open? Uh, it is playing at Pinfold Theater, which I am uh, on the board of, and uh, we are actually. It's a grand opening of this new building, that uh, permanent space that we're doing. It. Uh, we're working on it right now. Oh, <laughs> and, geez, at least. <laughs> yes. And uh, the show opens uh, uh, October 4th. Well, uh, and uh, for, for, for those holy, who don't holy know. Shit, holy shit balls. Yeah, dude. So you're still working on the venue and it opens oct next. Uh, <laughs> still uh, trying to figure out how to write. Friday? Run. Hey, you know how to build a network cable? Because I could sure use your help. You know what's funny is the person who does know and has built, built network cables for us is out getting hammered on his 21st birthday right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. But you want to know what? Brett, I'm proud of you that you'll be able to figure it no, out. No, that's the name of the show. <laughs> Damn it! Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, for for the uninitiated, you mentioned that this is uh, like I, I guess it's called a biopic if it's film. Is it called a bioplay if it's a uh, play? Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's a bioplay about uh, Mr. Rogers, Mr. right? Mr. Rogers. Fred. Yeah. Fred Rogers. It huh? is the it is the relationship of a uh, reporter. Who uh, in the last ten years of uh, Mr. Rogers' life, he they became friends, and uh, uh, so the 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 scene that you needed something for. Yes, there is the where uh, Mr. Rogers wins the or is given the Lifetime Achievement Emmy Award. Oh, so 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 it's a significant prop, and the yeah, spoiler alert. He's like, yo. Can I borrow that Emmy? You know, the <laughs> yeah. thing that, that you love so much? Yo. And, and I'm like, oh, John Stossel's man. Emmy. John yes. Stossel gave an Emmy to Andrew Heaton, who gave it as a joke to you. You yes. eventually ran into John Stossel, who was mad that his Emmy got second gifted. But uh, Brian covets it. And now it has been asked for for this play. And uh, uh, the, the bitter irony is I can't possibly be too precious about the Emmy because the whole reason it's here is because John Stossel was not precious about Emmy and he earned the motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I have to, uh, if, I, I'm going to every day, I'm going to say, did you tuck her in? Did you, did you uh, mm. sing her a song? No. <laughs> Can you take secret? a picture is of her? safe? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> For uh, uh, so so in public, uh, yeah. I am entrusting yes. the sacred Emmy here. Cover for me as I present this. Uh, to, here we go. To, Brian yeah. is making his you, way. You're over. the custodian He's bringing, for yes. one month. Bringing the Emmy now to Brett, who uh, Thank will be you. accepting it. Uh, this is his first uh, Emmy gifted to him on uh, <laughs> okay, get, the custodianship Great Night uh, program. Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> And his I, first nomination. I want to thank my uh, agent uh, <laughs> for getting me this Emmy because, you know, parents, uh, family, that's not important. It's the end. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, ladies, and gen ladies and gentlemen, Brett Weaver. Brett Weaver. Oh, it's wonderful. Uh, that'll be great, man. Uh, does, in, does anybody know on uh, in the cast? That you're planning that you're bringing to show up with an actual uh, Emmy. Well, it, that that's how it, it came about. Was they were we were I, I'm I'm not performing in the show, but I'm doing sound design for the show. And uh, when we were at the designers run through, uh, one of the things that was said was, "Well, and we need this is the part where this happens, and uh, we need to have an award. We need to find a prop award that looks like an Emmy." And I said, <laughs> "What about an Emmy?" And, uh, okay, so so at this point, I I am hoping in my fantasy that everyone goes ha 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 ha. Yes, what they said was, wait, you you can get to an Emmy, and I said, maybe, brother. <laughs> Please tell Do me, I, you can I can I get to an Emmy? Uh, uh, I'll, I'll get it to you by five o'clock with nail polish. <laughs> with nail polish, yeah. Uh, uh, please tell me you said I know a guy. <laughs> yes, that's, <laughs> fact, that's did exactly you really? What I said. Ah, that's it's amazing. Cool. I know. I know. They're like, you got an Emmy guy. I was like, <laughs> all kinds of guys. You don't know. You don't it's, know. Uh, it's crazy Emmys. These Emmys gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, that'll be good. So, so, so you called your shot there, yeah. and then, and then uh, this is your opportunity. And then, and then I, 
I texted you and was like, hey, like, please, buddy. please, 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 please don't please, make me look like an so asshole. You. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, look, I understand this thing's important to you. <laughs> like, I'll make sure I'll put you in the the I'll put you in the uh, the no, program. Yo, and, and that's the last thing I want, because I'm like, then they'll know. Yeah. They'll know where to take it. My precious. <laughs> Uh, it is going to be a very good play. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, I, 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 I'll definitely come check it out. <laughs> I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll applaud uh, inappropriately when the Emmy comes out. I'm like, whoa, whoa that's, that's a real Emmy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it, 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 uh, the show opens uh, October 4th, and it's running to the end of the month. And uh, this is the first show in the new space. And, Where uh, is the new space? The new Keeping space is in here. Round Rock. It's like, not that far. It's not, not that, that far. far. <laughs> it's in Round Rock. Uh, uh, honestly, that, this was not the address. Was not something I thought to keep in my head. <laughs> but it, it, my, the way I, the way I, how do you get there? I go. Well, you know where the T twenty two and the uh, Ramen Tatsuya and the Via three one three is. There's a Kirby Lane there, like <laughs> only in places of food. What, what is the what is the name of the theater? Uh, Penfold. Oh, Penfold. oh, it's still the Penfold. It's yeah, just in Penfold. a new space. Okay. Yes. All right. Uh, 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 so. Uh, <laughs> j uh, Justin, uh, I got this message, and then later that same night, uh, I, I you heard me talking about Ghostlight, right? Did did I talk to you about this this movie? No. Uh, oh, it's super super good. Like one of the things that I really love are those rare moments that the whole world can shut up and agree that a movie's good. Uh, this thing yeah. had ninety nine percent on Rotten Tomatoes and what ninety seven percent audience score on Rotten Tomatoes, and this Damn. is like a statistically significant, hun mm. you know. Uh, hundreds of reviews and I was like okay what's up and the description says you know a fresh take on processing grief uh it's family uh who's processing grief and the uh working class uh construction worker bottle it up dad at some point gets roped into joining a community theater uh, and then they and they do they do the thing where at first the community theater every, everybody looks lovably goofballish, but then by yeah. the end you can tell it's really special and they and they all come together. But like from the very beginning, uh, I any of them pause. turn into a light after they die. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I started calling the movie. Uh, I I told everyone it was Ghostlight, and then after that I only called it Gaslight, and they're all like, yeah. I thought it was Ghostlight, but I like, know it was always Gaslight. <laughs> no, because at some point, every moment that this, I'm like, this is the scene where someone's gonna die and turn into a light. Like this is the whole fucking name of the movie. Like Ghost Rider doesn't like then fly on a plane. Like he rides on a motorcycle. He's a ghost who rides. <laughs> so uh, just to put a button. On it, the uh, uh, ghost writer wrote <laughs> there was letters afterward. There's a whole lineage of dead things doing other things. <laughs> they, uh, it's it's a great movie. The mom and the dad actor are actually married in real life, and the daughter, mm. the teenage daughter, is their actual teenage daughter. So the three principals are all actors, and they're all actually a family. So as a result, you get this kind of next level casual. Uh, it, it, uh, if you ever saw Van Land, it's got that kind of reality vibe to it. It's uh, it's really good. Where is it available? Is it in uh, theaters or? I, I think it's in select theaters, but I rented it on Amazon. You, you could rent it on Apple Plus or Amazon. Uh, gotcha. But uh, VOD, they call it VOD. 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 Yeah, available on VOD. Uh, yeah, you know, Buy you know it what else? Now on VOD. <laughs> You know what else is a video that you can watch on demand is... What's that, Brian? A, a great night. Uh, uh, huh? If you go to Twitch... Uh, At what point does the night go from good to better than that, though? It should at some point. The night should take a measurable leap like Ghostlight. Where Ghostlight <laughs> failed, Great Night will succeed. The We're going will. to take the night greater than it was before. That's it was a normal night. We made it a good night, maybe. Maybe even a bad night. We're going to make it a great night at some point. <laughs> well, we'll know it when it shows up. But in the meantime, exactly. you can support us at patreon.com slash great night where you get double the episodes. Yeah, man. We do two episodes each and every week. And uh, uh, it's, it's a good time. It's good stuff. You know, it's a good shout. That's what I say. Me and Brian, we get in there. We chop it up. We, we put it back in and then we sell it off 
to for parts. And then we do we okay. uh, we we skim that grease from it off the top, and we boil yeah. that grease, and we assume it's good enough to cook again. Can I? Uh, uh, my daughter's identity was stolen. What already? Yeah, that's got to be a it's, world record, <laughs> right? Uh, for for uh, reals, we got her social security card in the mail and it had been ripped open. So like a third of the card itself is missing, but we suspect that somebody has a key to our thing and they just check through everybody's mail each night, found something. They left the card in there. So who it might've been an accident. I don't think so. It'd be very weird if that was the only piece of mail that was damaged. But, but, but uh, you have the yeah. entirety of the number, right? It's not like you call 1-800-GOVERNMENT and be all like, could could you tell me Excuse the last me. four of my daughter's social security number? No, the number's on there. So I suspect that they did the smart thing, which is just take a picture of the number and then left the card because I'm sure being in possession of a stolen card is a is lot more of a serious thing. situation than uh, than otherwise. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that's that's a bummer. That's yeah, uh, it uh, happens. Well, when 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 Trump wins or Harris wins, we'll know when when one of those two wins, we'll know it's because somebody used that card. I'm going to be a single issue voter. Whoever fixes my daughter's social security card first wins for me. <laughs> Somebody I'm shows gonna... up with a piece of tape. Just, yeah. You're That's like, it. you're you're the best, Jill Stein. <laughs> I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for one of the two major presidential <laughs> candidates to come to my house personally and then pull the missing one third of my daughter's social security card from behind my ear. You know, see, if you want to really restore it, you gotta call a magician. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> mm, torn and restored social security card. That'd be really good. Oh my god, yeah, just do a whole thing on voter fraud. Just, uh, just a January, the January six magician, the the, 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 the the stop the steal magician. That'd be amazing. Uh the uh, the Ashley Babbitt bullet catch. Too soon. Moving on. <laughs> I did. I did watch the uh, stopping the steal documentary on HBO where they just collect everyone up and and. Uh, I think it only came out like three days ago, and I suspect uh, that they figured out the legally right time that they could put it out before the election or something. Oh, uh, I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know what it is. What, what oh, is they, it? They have a. They have a. What's his name? Bar. They have a bunch of former Trump staffers. Uh, they have the people who served. It's like a, just a documentary about yeah the aftermath of the election in January sixth. Yeah. Well, and also the run up to it, and and you know what it was like to be in the room when nobody knew what Trump was going to say when he walked up to the podium, and yeah. how like uh, I don't know one one girl was like. Uh, uh, she just said uh, she resigned like d while he was still talking. <laughs> she was like, yeah. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. It was crazy. Uh, uh, lots of laughs. What do you think? Comedy? Uh, uh, Drama? I mean, there, there was some pretty good laughs. Uh, like quite literally, they, they just had this one out of context thing where he's just holding a chart of two lines that are back when he used to be popular and then when he lost. So it's clearly, it is a... It is an accurate line graph of yeah. how he lost the confidence of the public and how he yeah. lost the election. But he's holding it and saying, look at this. Uh, I was ahead, so far ahead, so far ahead, and now I've lost by a slim margin. It's rigged. <laughs> like that's yeah. like that's that was very clearly the evidence to him. It was yeah. it was amazing. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Hmm. Why did People keep making musicals and then lying to everybody that they're not a musical. Like what? <laughs> uh, oh, like uh, like 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 the rock biopic plays or no? So all right, the Mean Girls movie. Might have thought it was just a remake of the movie Mean Girls. No, it was an adaptation of the musical. You're Didn't talking about show it movies. at all. Didn't show it at all in the trailers. It was just, oh, Mean Girls is back. There's a new Mean Girls. Nope, they're singing the whole goddamn time. The new Willy Wonka. Oh, Timothy Chalamet, this delightful twink, has brought a new energy to the iconic character of Willy Wonka. Nope, this fucker is belting out a bunch of diegetic uh, 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 song throughout this entire goddamn movie. Uh, and now Joker. Joker, the new Joker movie is a musical. Wait, did, it did, is, did you not know this? 
I knew it. Okay. It's just not in the trailers at all. In the trailers, it's just all like, do, 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 do. Ah, this is the dramatic scene. Here's one of the only action scenes in the movie. The Joker. And then it's like, like these motherfuckers are going to sing the whole goddamn movie. Yeah. I mean, Why? it's got just, Lady what, Gaga If you're going to make it, it, sell it like it. But well, and and I guess the, the the question I have is is the singing in universe like you know because like Lady Gaga sang in in A Star Is Born, but she was on stage pretending to be somebody singing, and also was actually somebody singing. <laughs> yeah, so it's apparently all like their fantasy world that they are. There's like a lot of like oh we don't know exactly what's real and what's not, and so Harley Quinn and Joker are kind of escaping into these fantasy worlds that involve them singing songs, which I mean, bold strategy cotton, but I guess whatever you need to get everybody to sign on board. I, I, I just, it's just so funny to me that it's like Hollywood can't stop making musicals, but they can't stop lying. So people will go see their musicals. Uh, man, I wonder, I guess at some point they learned their lesson. Like, uh, like, the, uh, similar to horror movies, it's like no matter how not scary they are, like, okay, what this is is brilliant political satire, but you must not ever say that. You're like, you'll yeah. piss your pants at <laughs> at Jowl Flapper, the politician men, you know. Yeah. Uh, Brett, what do you think about this? Why do they keep lying to us? Uh, because uh, you deserve it. That's really uh, what it is. And really, with the the, the ladies and gentlemen, I just want to point out for the listening audience, his hands have not left that Emmy since. since. I want to make sure it's safe. That's, That's you know what? what? That's saying. the right way. Do, Sorry, what you asked me. To I didn't mean to cut you off. You were saying. Uh, I was just surprised in the Joker movie, this new one, that there was a whole ten minutes about her singing about pudding. That was. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Uh, the you think this movie's gonna be good? This just Joker, Joker two, early Fo follicle, follicle, follicle two. Uh, the 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 food of Fafa, Fole uh, la du. Yes. Uh, early chatter, as I understand. It sounds it, like is, a place that I would get kicked out of in Montreal. Is is what? Fole Foi la du. La du. Lady. The early chatter is that it's very, very different from the first Joker movie, and yes. almost as it's a good. fucking musical. Yes, uh, and all, but almost as good. Not quite as good, but close. And very, uh, yeah. Apparently, the 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 sales are really soft. That was that was the 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 report, and then it was funny. I was like watching football, which is you'd think a bunch of just. Oh, I mean, just the classic. Went to go see the first Joker, and they're like. Fucking no hint of a song at all. No one even smiles. It's just all the scenes of Joaquin Phoenix screaming and then a courtroom explodes and there's a riot and it's like, fucking Joker's back. Joker's back and he's fucking mad. Real, realize how mad you are when you watch fucking Joker. Who said musical? Shut up. <laughs> Buy your tickets right now or you're a pussy. Well, and, and I guess when I think thinking about it, it's like, uh, what woman, what what girlfriend is gonna want to go with her boyfriend to go see the 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 Joker movie? And what dude everyone wants that to went see... to go see the first one, it was a gigantic hit. Oh no no no! no. I'm talking about uh, the girlfriend uh, 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 with the female demographic. It was a big hit. It was a big enough hit that some women had to go. Right. Uh, well, I I guess one of uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess. I mean, it could be well, just like, too. Like, Checkmate. Like, what kind of movie that had a, an audience says, fuck that audience. We're going to do the total. Like, Barbie 2 isn't going to be Rambo. Uh, that That's what I was trying to say. But yes, yes, I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I misunderstood. Uh, my, my apologies. Right. Well, uh, uh, like, like, it's like. Uh, if you're going to go see a Rambo movie, you're not going to see the Barbie Rambo. And if you're going to go see a musical, you're not going to see the fucked up, mentally ill, uh, psychopath musical is, is what I'm saying is, is, uh, it's the mushy middle. <laughs> it is the mushy middle. That's a good name for a sequel. <laughs> the mushy middle. <laughs> the, the, Better the, than follicle, <laughs> follicle dude. That, that one takes place with uh, a new villain, El Bandito, and it's called, mm. uh, Trace... Tres Mushitos, Mushy Middle, 
mushy. That's my favorite. We'll like, workshop it. Yeah, this, <laughs> this, this, fix it in post. Trace Machido was a great second baseman for the Houston Astros <laughs> in 1987. <laughs> now batting Trace Machito. <laughs> Uh, hey Brett, do you have a game for us? I do. We 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 do have a game. In fact, we have three games that we can choose from. <laughs> this is great. So what happened was is 15 minutes before we went live, I I called on Elisa and I was like, "Hey Brett's coming by to get an Emmy. Nathan's not here. Can we just make up a game?" And on Elisa said, uh, 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 "Gotcha, fam." <laughs> and that's all we know. <laughs> Who's... Yeah. So she handed me one thing, and then as I'm talking on camera, she hands me two other things. I was like. Okay, so nice. cool. That's good. Uh, 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 dad fashion, retro toys, or Mr. Rogers? Oh, you know what? Uh, 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 Justin, uh, you, you have the honors, sir. I think we both know that we're going to go with Mr. Rogers, right? Well, because like, although we, both we... of us are dads now, so dad fashion sounds yep. pretty oh, good. Oh, shit. Maybe I should this, go with dad this fashion. Will, this will which be means our first... if we both identified one, let's do the one that we either of us like. <laughs> okay, what, the, was the, what was, whatever the third one is, the one that neither the other of us one even can remember under pain of death. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Rogers. No, that one we did oh, remember. Okay, then, then. Oh, the third one, which was uh, uh, retro toys. There we go. Let's go with retro toys. Retro toys. Here yes, we go. Yes. Let's call. Let's call Paul. Uh, here <laughs> are ten trivia questions and answers about retro toys. I expect you to have the answer. If not. I get to keep the... Okay, do, do, do we get to what? Decide what kind of character you do? Uh, do you do voices and accents? Do I? <laughs> yeah, like, like yeah. do you have any acting experience? Have you ever heard of this voices and accents racket? I, People I've, make a I've, sweet I've, living of it. I, I've always wanted to do that. All right, well, uh -huh. uh, uh, give, give, give somebody with a thick Japanese accent. Okay, uh, uh, I will do that. All right. Hey, buddy. <laughs> uh, question <laughs> for you. What year was the original Barbie doll first introduced by Mattel? Uh, I guess I'll, I'll go first. I think it was 1964. Ooh, I think it might have been earlier. I think it was 1951. And what was yours again, Brian? Oh, I said in the early mid 60s. Okay. So probably wrong. Uh, oh boy, y'all are very close. It was 1959. Ooh, I think Brian oh, gets that one. Brian gets it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess yeah. I was five away. Uh, hey, mm. that's one one for the good guy. Yeah. Unless unless no. it's Price is Right rules. Is it Price is Right rules? In that case, I win. Uh, we, we uh, I think we we usually try to go. It's not just going closest. over. It's closest yeah. to the number. That seems to okay. make the All right. Sense. Well, then mm. fuck me. Okay. Whatever. Yep. Sure. You know I'm what? Worthless. Add right. up Good. and figure it out. Yep. <laughs> All right. All right. So, question number two. He gets in one my fucking best... Emmy, and now he's now he's just know, fucking right? throwing his dick in my around. best Holy Japanese shit. accent. <laughs> All right. This go. Guy. For it. Fucking. Here we go. His, Which retro toy? Dick like a nightstick. Go on. Which and I'm Rodney King. Yeah. <laughs> hey, can't we all just get along? Okay, that's my line. Oh. <laughs> so he has one line and you stepped on it. One <laughs> Emmy. This motherfucker gets one Emmy. One just Emmy. Just rolling Emmy. over everybody. One Emmy. fucking Emmy. <laughs> Which retro? And he's found not guilty in his first trial <laughs> of white. First introduced in 1949, yep. is famous. For its interlocking plastic bricks. Interlocking plastic rings? Bricks. 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 Oh, that's got to be uh, Lego. Uh, I think uh, it's the French, Lego. The French call it Lego. Yeah. yeah. Lego. But you you said it first, Justin, so it's yours. Yeah. Oh, good for you, buddy. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, domo arigato to you, too. Yes. I, I'm so glad that you can uh, fathom my inscrutable language. Uh, uh, here we go. Uh, okay. Question number right, so I, I got that. I got that. Look, you, you really know the hallmark of a well-crafted game. <laughs> Just a game that's been poured over for 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 literal seconds before yes. it's it's handed into Brett's hand yes. for him to read. This is just this, oh, well, you can feel the quality in your hand when you touch the game. Question number three. <laughs> 
What was the name of the popular 1970s toy that consisted of two large plastic balls connected by a string that makes a clacking sound when used? Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, I know the click, click. Uh, yep. I, I'm just going to say the words click, clack. All right. Uh, and then also remind people to go to Squarespace. <laughs> Hashtag click clack on no, Squarespace. No, don't. Don't. I'm going to get fucking yelled at again. <laughs> That would be amazing if your phone. I'm gonna get yelled at by fucking Twit again. I don't even work there. They're gonna fucking yell at me again. (laughs) Justin, stop it. What's the name? Put on the the mask again. Uh, uh, Bubble popper. Uh, uh, No, the the, uh, a big old ding dong. That's what it's called. (laughs) Big old ding dong. Thank you, Justin. So close. The answer is clackers Uh, or click clacks. That point goes to Holy Brian. shit. Brian, you got that one. You got it, buddy. And I'm black, y'all. And I'm blacker than black. And I'm black, y'all. That's right. Holy shit, Brian. Question number four. How did you get click clack? <laughs> I just literally was thinking about the fact he that said they go, it goes click clack. Like, click clack. I know what those things are. And then he's like, click clacks, I guess. I guess. Like, yeah, that, there you, you go, bro. It was just are you a stupid 10 years guess. older than I think you are, and therefore you know all of these? Am I how many years older? How much older? Are you, what are you, what's Where, going on yeah. over there? You got a lot of knowledge about these old toys. Oh no, friend. no, no, no! I'm a, I'm a young one. Like, look at, look at, look at, look at your hair. Look at mine. I'm young. Look, look, look at Brett's hair, and then look good at mine. jeans. Yeah, good jeans at, or good docks. Let us know in the <laughs> TMZ comments. I don't have as much hair as you guys do. Oh, no. Oh. All right. What's the next question? Next question. Thank you, Justin. The next question, which iconic toy first sold in 1977 featured a rotund uh, bouncing plastic figure that would spring back up after being knocked down? Oh, that's one of those, that weeble wobbling clown. The we- the weebles. The weebles. Uh what uh, I I've only seen it as like a bozo looking clown. I'll say the bozo. weebles might wobble, but they don't fall down. Yeah, that sounds. I've only heard that phrase. I've only heard that phrase. Right. It is. You are just old enough to know it, Justin. Welcome. You got oh, no, that point. Oh no, I only have heard that phrase in music. I literally have no idea what that toy is. Uh, it, I've heard it as a secondhand cultural reference, but the way you described it made me confident enough to yell it. Yes. So Weebles were not the Bozo the Clown ones. These were the little plastic ones. Uh, and you would you they would never they would always stand up. So you would knock them over and, you know, yeah, step on, and it wouldn't fucking matter, man. You don't That's give a right. shit. These guys, these <laughs> little, give these a little weebles, they're not going to take shit for nothing, man. Those fucking weebles, man. They don't fuck these around. These weebles, man. They're out here. They're going to stand up for their rights. Like that the shit IRA is upright. The queen, absolutely <laughs> right. Yeah, they're going to take it to them. Fucking stand up for Ireland. The weebles <laughs> are separatists. So it looks like uh, going into question five here, Justin. Uh, it looks yeah. like you two are tied right now. Holy, Holy shit! Wow! Wow! Good Thank goodness. You. Now's where it all gets With serious. With their bombs and their guns <laughs> and their bombs and their guns, <laughs> we will wobble, we will wobble. <laughs> they don't fall down. <laughs> all right. So question number five. <laughs> this is where we get serious. Gonna, don't don't mean to bring the room down, but here we go. Hey guys, calm down. Yeah, I know we're all laughing. We're all knee slapping about the troubles. That's but right. We need to, we need to fucking serious up here. Smarten up. Here we go. The original Easy Bake Oven is a toy that allows children to break small cakes. Was released in what year? Easy Bake Oven. I believe it was released in 1963, the day Kennedy was shot. <laughs> 11 uh, uh, That was it. No, literally, the second that it happened, it's part of the conspiracy. The Easy Bake Oven. Jack Ruby was a seed investor in the sure. Easy Bake Oven, and he uh, put it out there. And it was Look on it the up. It's on the internet. Sure. I uh, I don't know why, but 1972 popped to mind. I do have vague 
memories of wanting one really bad when I was four years old. You wanted an easy bake oven for yeah. what? What did you want to make? Little I, cakes? To, to bake things. And then mom was like, you just use the oven. And I'm like, no, it's not the same. <laughs> I yeah. want mine. Interestingly enough, Brian, we are the same when it comes to this. Really? You wanted one as well? Well, but it, luckily I have three older sisters. One of them had an easy bake oven. And yeah. I was able to, I was the one working the easy did, 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 did you just make like the cornmeal pancakes that they have pretty or? much you yeah know, it's, it's a light bulb it was like that's yeah it was like it was. like 120 watt 120 light, bulb. Watt light yeah. bulb that seemed to work so that being said the year was when kennedy was shot 1963. Hey! You, you nailed it hey! oh my god, that's oh right. my oh, god. god. Right? Easy no. bake oven was a part of the conspiracy. Yes. Where Wait. on the grassy knoll did the cake get baked? Uh, way to celebrate uh, the assassination of our president. Thank uh, you. Uh, line line of the night. Not from my the president. Chat. Hashtag. Yeah. I voted for Nixon. Not my president. Uh, Bob <laughs> Bobcat says bake and to the left. <laughs> bake <laughs> and to the left. <laughs> uh, that's the line of the night. In Dallas, yeah. Texas today, a Again, cake just, was baked in 110. <laughs> going on to question six, uh, I want to just check in real quick. It, my accent, y'all are getting it? It's it's coming through? It was a strong accent, but we all got it. Okay. Well, uh, 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 you know, we go now for, we have vo vocal coaches. Uh, uh, let me just find out what they say. They said you did very well. Okay, good. Oh, Excellent. wow. Excellent. Yeah. And I know not to emphasize certain syllables. Okay. Have you so, have you have you done have you done a, a, a Japanese accented character, Japanese accented English characters in the yes, past? Yes, I have. Brett, you have. I have. I would imagine you have because that's that's the, the industry. Not that you were, not that you a were ton of it. it. Well, what I did was I uh, I heard the uh, original Japanese, and I really liked the way the guy said the word, so I yeah. said it exactly the same way. Oh, so you would do the English translation. He's a Japanese character, but you're doing the English translation. Yes. And you really liked And I hear that. the original recording of the yeah. Japanese actor doing it. And I was like, I like this so much. I'm going to do it exactly the same way. What was, do you remember the, the read? It was for a uh, show, a little two episode show called Dragon Half. And of course it is. The the character's name was Damaramu. Mm -hmm. And what was the it, I think it was him calling the, the his his flying bird uh thing that he he flies on. Yeah. Named yeah. Roshi and uh Roshi. But he said it like Roshi and I was like yeah. I have to do it exactly that way. There's no other oh, way to do this. Oh, that's great. Yeah. 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 I, I I don't know what, if, if if this happened when when you were here or not, but we we were talking about uh, uh, Shogun and talking about how the Japanese are just the unparalleled grunters. Like talk about Emmys, they won all those Emmys like a week ago. <laughs> I think seventy five percent because America wasn't prepared for that grunt game that, that, in that, the that. way that in the way that the Japanese can fucking deliver it. Yeah. Yeah, all from the stomach, all from the abdomen. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. And the range uh, from from surprise <laughs> to, to co confuse. <laughs> yeah, I mean, or dismissive. I mean, like they've <sighs> got seventy five different pitches oh, yeah. on dismissive grunting, sure. and, and they're all fucking really, really different. You know, oh, he's a little bit dismissive. Mm -hmm. Oh, you should be thrown into the sun. Like you are a total piece of shit. Like the Japanese grunts, man. Uh, I, they should make it its own Emmy category, in my opinion. And I it'll just be all shit from Shogun. That should be your new uh, cover band that you do, Japanese grunts. Japanese grunts. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. Well, you I, know what? He, Let's get on to uh, question six, shall we? Oh, I thought you said that was the end of the game. No, it's not the end of the game. Oh, we, fuck we're me. going all to right, ten, sorry, bro. Yeah. I, I was filling because I thought we were at the end no, of the no, game. No, that's been way too complicated. So what toy introduced in 1983 became a massive craze with children featuring soft, 
cloth body dolls that came with the unique birth certificate. Uh, 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 Cabbage Patch dolls. People had fist fights. Yeah. <laughs> yep. The, yeah, we Cabbage also would have kids. accepted Justin Robert Young. Oh. I also came in 1983 with the birth certificate, but no one heralds me. Yeah, you know why? Because you didn't wear silky soft clothes. Oh, fuck you, Mom. You <laughs> ruined it. You were a garbage pail kid. <laughs> I know, right? Sorry. All right, let's go to the next question. Ready. Which toy originally released in 1974 became a global phenomenon and is known as one of the best-selling puzzles of all time? Nobody knows this one. It's too complicated. The 80s, a puzzle, uh, best of all time. I would say the, the Rubik's Cube. What? I've never heard of this. No? Final answer, Brian? I, 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 I mean, uh, uh, I was going to say the crossword puzzle. Oh, so close. It was the Rubik's Cube. <laughs> oh, hey! hey! You're rocking it. Think, like, what, is, what is a puzzle that would be a toy? <laughs> yeah. Uh, this one is my favorite. This question here is my favorite question. Yeah. Introduced in 1966, the year I was born. Damn. Which toy was known for its simple design of a plastic disc or a metal disc that could walk downstairs? Uh, uh, it's a slinky, a baby. disc. I mean, yeah, you're describing a slinky, but... Yeah. And I guess they are plastic or metal, but I wouldn't call it a disc. But I guess I don't know. It is round. Shaped like a it walks yeah, downstairs. Like a metal disc. Yeah. A yeah. loner in pairs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Slinky. Yeah. Slinky. Yeah. And it and my favorite and it is slinky. My favorite uh parody song to that is Log. Do you Log, remember? Oh, course. sure, sure. From Ren yeah. and Stimpy. Sure. Yeah. The best. Can we talk about Ren and Stimpy anymore? Because that dude was a uh, creepo. Oh, he's a piece of shit. But, oh, really? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I I know none of this. Hey, yeah. uh, how could the Golden Sterling reputation of of the creator of Ren and Stimpy, you know, the home to gross well, close ups here's, of hairs here's the on thing, tongues? Here's the thing. Like the fact that Ren and Stimpy was good art is like the least of the tells. The biggest tell is animators. Like, yes. I'm sorry, every animator's <laughs> kind of fucking weird. There's like an element of like solitary uh, uh craft that goes into it that sweaty just making attracts, no money yeah that's yeah right. it, it, it just attracts a certain a certain type, a certain in my opinion yeah here we are question 10 yeah it's all down to this and the score is tied it's, yes yes the score is tied oh wait poop tempest is saying scott johnson shambles no illustrators different than animators yes animators are a totally different breed than illustrators illustrators are just artists remember animators my wife different place. is <laughs> an illustrator yes yeah no no no. <laughs> illustrators are just kind of eccentrics in yes. general uh, animators check their dm history <laughs> <laughs> so what electronic handheld game first introduced by tiger electronics in the late 1980s was a precursor to many modern portable game devices. I... I... This is hard. I, yeah, I, I, I I'm out name. on this. I, I, would, I would imagine it's, it's one of those single game... Uh, uh, yes. Deedly bops. But, but they but had like, a yeah, whole but, bunch a, a, a of them. A proto Game yes. Boy. They had a whole bunch of them, and I, the only, I can only give a half answer, but I only need part of a point if those are possible but it's like time in something a watch and game or something it was like two words and either time or i think watch was one of them any uh any in not you're not gonna even try uh justin uh uh my guess is uh the smith and wesson handgun <laughs> wow both of you so close, but no. In this case, it was the Tiger Electronic handheld games. But really, the oh, one that you can think of is the football. You remember the football game? That was 1970s, though, man. I had one of those in 79. Somebody lied to No, no, no. Uh, well, it depends. Like, uh, if you're talking 
Brian LED can remember the first time he got it in 1979. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the R2G2 cake is about to be out. Ah, we're taking heavy fire. Somebody's eating uh, frosting off of the candles. You got to get this little dot across to the other side of the football game. The dot represents a quarterback. There are only three defenders, and they move randomly. Go! <laughs> yes. I own that game. Uh, wait, so so who... Neither of us... I guess we uh, we tied, Justin. Yay! We did it! Wait, are we sure this is the end of the game? The last time I thought it was the end I, of the game, there was not the Let's end. go on to some more questions. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I did miss eight. All right. Well, then we'll do that one real quick. Here okay. We go. All You're right. right. This one's for there all the marbles. All right. What popular retro toy created by Hasbro in 1964 was the first action figure specifically mar marketed to this small demographic called boys? Hmm. Uh, uh, that that would have to be uh, uh, the the founder of the term action figure, uh, the original one foot tall GI Joe. Yes. Yeah. There it is. The real American hero. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Before they were called the real American hero. Yeah, right? they. Yeah, first, first it's they. Like G.I. Joe, a real guy who exists. <laughs> There's a doll of him. <laughs> He's a survivor who came through a hard scrabbled youth, but he's serving his country because he's a real person. Could be your neighbor. Now he's a doll. G.I. Joe, not special, regular person, doesn't have special cool shit. That's later. He was the one that fucked Barbie, because we all knew Ken Damn. wasn't Ken. With, uh, uh, with, with uh, special battle fatigue and uh, a fear of mud. And, yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, with with <laughs> shell shock action. Now with a distant relationship to his children. <laughs> okay. Oh Jesus! No, we guys gotta, gotta stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's GI Joe, the, the most realistic doll for the combat veteran. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at real PTSD. Yes. Where's my benefits? <laughs> I'm waiting for the VA to bump up my appointment. <laughs> it's medicinal. <laughs> I got PTSD. Oh my god! And that's god. it, uh, Brian. You won. Uh, I think I, I like to think we all won, but there's only one winner, uh, and he's holding an Emmy right now. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, man, the uh, I guess uh, uh, you want to keep you keep going, or what do you got? What do we got? I mean, I got <laughs> nothing going on tonight. We can keep it going. Uh, yeah. I, I, I can I can I plug a couple of things? No, you can do whatever the <laughs> no, fuck yes, you want, of baby. Course, of course Live you your can. life. So two things. So uh, you know, of course, being on pinfold board and helping op op open a yep. theater. That's that's yep. a thing. Uh. I am very excited to say that uh, this December at the Driscoll Hotel, Ooh. we are going to be doing Die Hard, the old-fashioned radio play. Oh, that sounds awesome. Yes, it is. We've done it two years before. It's been fantastic. This year, yours truly is Hans Gruber. So yes. can, 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 we, can, can we get a taste of that Hans Gruber? Hello, Mr. McLean. That's pretty good. There we go. That's yep. fucking great. And Holy it's shit. PG so you're, so you're the, the groups. Yes, it's PG thirteen. So it's all the rules of the PG thirteen. You get me. You get and, one F. <laughs> uh, yeah, one fuck. <laughs> you get only one fuck. And uh, uh, it is hilarious. Like, is it after you be Kaye, or do we have to buy a ticket to find out? You're gonna have to come. You're gonna have to come. Damn. Damn. Oh. And it sells out. We're only doing two shows. So what? one Saturday, the Saturday before Christmas, not the two two weekends before Christmas at the Driscoll Hotel. Only 150 seats. So where is better. it, it going to be? Is it going to be in one of the, 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 in the, the ballroom upstairs? In the ballroom upstairs. Yes. That's the LBJ. I think that's where LBJ watched the 1960 election. Absolutely. Whoa. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's dope. Yeah. 
So there, I've got that. And I've got this other little podcast that I'm doing right now uh, called Two Beers In. Oh, hells yeah. Where we tell positive, uh, talk about positive news stories and we drink. So uh, my friend Monica Ballard uh, does the show with me. She's awesome and hilarious. And uh, my buddy Doug shows up occasionally and drinks beer and makes snide comments. Uh, are you guys still recording? Uh, for a while, you guys were doing it on location at a bar. At the, uh, at the Aristocrat Lounge on Burnett Road. Uh, we usually do that every Thursday. But occasionally we'll go to Barflies uh, or we'll, we'll travel around. Do, do, do you make it downtown anymore? Do you know at all where the hot spots are downtown? I do know where the hot spots are. I'm probably not as savvy about it than you. Where are the hot spots? If you were to just give us a tour of I the mean, hot spots. Of course, in there's the redheaded stepchild, which we really uh, enjoyed. I liked uh, here nor there is quite good, which is the hidden place. I think you've been there, Justin. Uh I haven't, but Justin might have. I, I had heard that there were multiple speakeasies yes. around now. Uh, there's, I, there's I, quite have not, I have not been to a speakeasy that's not redheaded. Okay, so then we need to take you to a here nor there, which is you have okay. to get an app and do the whole thing. Do a little rigmarole, yeah. solve a captcha, it's, you know, it's do a worth thing. It. Also, uh, the uh, formerly Rub and Tug place, uh, Midnight, Midnight Cowboy, Cowboy yeah, is Midnight. also a very uh, uh, good place. And then, you know, if you're just hanging with me, we'll just go to the Aristocrat because it's a dive bar and it used to be the Poodle Dog and uh, it's a great place. Yeah. You know, it, it's really funny. Um, the place right next to Redheaded Stepchild, which used to be the Handlebar, uh, yes. then became, I think, Cockfight is what it's called now. <laughs> Uh, and it is a reggaeton-themed bar, which was ambitious to believe that there were that many people who desperately wanted to listen to reggaeton that wanted to go into a bar that is, like, among one of the better high-capacity bars yes. in downtown. Uh, there aren't. They play reggaeton really fucking loud. It chases out other people who don't want to listen to reggaeton that loud. But the good news is... If you're downtown and you want to go to a really cool bar and you can stand reggaeton music, there's always plenty of seats. Sure. It's uh, well, and it's so funny because as redheaded stepchild, like there was there was about 23 minutes where uh, it was handlebar that was packed, and you could go to this very quiet upscale speakeasy next door, and then the speakeasy became packed. It's like fuck this, and you go to this giant spacious open rad bar that with nobody in it. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, anyway, so there we go. A fun little uh, 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 tip to the coolest bars in downtown Austin. Downtown. That's what Brett Weaver brings to the show. Brett, we've missed you dearly. Yeah, it Brett, was so uh, good, awesome to see you. W yeah. w will you come back down? It's not, it's not, it, was it far? It was far. <laughs> <laughs> especially, especially because they're doing all that construction uh, uh, at the. the well, I just take the back way. I, I, if you know what I mean. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Southwest Parkway. That's the way to go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was, no, it was good coming down. I, I, I haven't, I haven't hit a Southwest Parkway since college. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad that every time that I come from now on. I will have an Emmy. Uh, oh, that's yeah. great. Thank you. Well, uh, uh, I guess I guess it'll be like a library book that you check out. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, nope, Brian, it. start milking Stossel. You gotta, <laughs> you, you, you gotta just get some more Emmys. We gotta, we gotta uh, load these up. Emmys, I can't keep them on the shelves. They gotta go. Mm -hmm. hey, and you got any more of them Emmys, <laughs> man? Come on. All right. Well, here we'll just go ahead and and wrap it up. Uh, wait, hey, Brett, what did we learn today? Well, we've learned. Many oh, no, We've learned that it's a, it's great to have uh, your children on to speak about rock and roll. It's uh, great to talk about toys. Uh, Round Rock is far away. <laughs> and uh, and uh, I'm glad I can still read. <laughs> uh, Brett, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, don't be a stranger. Uh, show, show up again. Uh, yeah. Two beers in, uh, uh, die hard at the Driscoll in yes. December, and then of course the I'm Fred proud of, and play also at Justin, Red Bull. don't forget, I'm proud of you. Oh, I'm proud of Justin you. Robert I'm proud of you. 
I'm proud of you. Hey, Brian. It's been a great night. Uh, Shine on, you crazy diamonds. See you next Tuesday. Of Drano. Night attack. 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 Night attack.